are coming to talk Hi. to us. Hi, come right Hi. up, come right up. Oh, get a microphone. Oh. Yes, you get to be a special correspondent here at the Emmas. <laughs> We're live. <laughs> We're live, FYI, so don't drop live. any F-bombs or anything okay, like that. Okay, done so. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so what brings you out tonight? You are very green. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I, um... I started an initiative called the Alternative Travel Project that aims at getting people outside of the bubble of their cars, and it just aligns with what the EMAs are trying to do, or the EMAs, as you yeah, say. The EMAs, and yeah. you did that for a couple of days here in Los Angeles, which is kind of tough to do. Yeah, you rode your bike, or you, you use public transportation. For I six use days? public transportation kind of regularly. I try to get on the subway at least once a week. That's awesome. That's yeah. pretty amazing. Yeah. What What inspired this uh, campaign? I, you know, I was used to public transit systems in Toronto and Chicago and in other parts of Europe. And um, when I came to LA, it felt really isolating not being able to use public transit. It's one way to meet people. It's one way to get the feel of the city. And I thought, oh, well, maybe when I have a better, like a farther reaching voice, I'll be able to um, encourage that. And LA is doing a great job of improving their public transit. And I'm excited to see what happens. I feel like it's creating a revolution, kind of like what New York has done with the High Line and mm -hmm. everything that New York has uh, kind of created over the past few years. Any tips for people who uh, want to start living an eco-friendly lifestyle yeah. uh, for them, even if it's a small thing, what can they start doing at home? Uh, you know, there's ways to um, get rid of, of uh, to start composting. There's some really wonderful uh, companies out there that have little small compost units that you can do in the backyard or on a patio if you live in the city. Um, ride your bike. <laughs> Love it. Tell, Walk. <laughs> tell us about the castle set. How what about it? Earth friendly, green. What do you got? Uh, we finally got recycling yeah. reinstated. Yeah. Yay. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, a lot of my cast members are uh, into it, so I'm grateful for that. Um, a lot of them are very eager to have um, electric cars, and they've gone and explored other options um, to traveling with benzene propelled vehicles. So um, I'm lucky that I have a cast that's like that. And what about this season? It's already it started off already crazy. What can you tell us? What can we expect? Uh, there's a Western episode. Love it. <laughs> and my character gets to dress up in a getup that reminds me of like uh, Raquel Welch meets Clint Eastwood. Oh, uh, nice. Which is pretty do, you, do you ride a horse? I wish. But you I do get into a wagon. Okay. Oh, that's good. good. Yeah, that's like that's that. yeah. close enough. I think they were afraid that if they got us on a horse too early, there might not be castle for the next 23 episodes. And you guys shooting downtown. I don't know how they were going to get a castle. I mean, a, a horse down there. I'd be open to it. It'd be great. <laughs> that's awesome. Well, thank you so much. Have a great thank night, you. and thanks for chatting with us. Thanks, guys. Awesome. Nice Enjoy. <laughs> thank Bye. you. Thank you so much. Uh, now, coming up, we're going to have Francis Fisher here at the Environmental Media right. 